Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Autodesk Inventor 2013, um, and we're going to, going to be embossing text and doing um, some of the minor 3D uh, modeling tools here. So um, let's go ahead and open a part file. So standard IPT if you're using this dialog. And we're going to go ahead and create a 2D sketch. In this case, I'm going to make a, um, a circle, and I'm going to dimension that circle. We're going to make it uh, 4 inches in diameter. Right click, finish 2D sketch, zoom all. Okay, so what we have here is we have our, uh, our circle. Okay, now we're going to extrude, and basically what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a, a shape to allow us to emboss some text on it. Okay, and we're using a round shape in this case because it's a little bit different process uh, to emboss text on a round shape. Okay, so we have our we have our um, our shape that we want to emboss. You can emboss anything on it, but we want to go ahead and emboss some text on it. So we're going to go ahead and create a work plane. Um, an easy way to do this is to click on plane. And then we can actually click on the um, oh, and I'm having trouble seeing it here. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so what happened there was that. Um, if you see as I turn the to cube around, as I turn the cube around, I clicked on the plane, work plane, then I clicked on the face of the cylinder, then I clicked on the uh, XY plane. And what that did is it told Inventor to put that work plane right directly tangent with the face of the cylinder. Um, and that's, that's helpful. Uh, otherwise, we would have been adjusting the offset on the work plane to get it to match up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add some text in here. Um, we're going to do this kind of as, uh, as we're going to do it as complicated as possible <laughs> so, uh, so that you really get kind of the gist of what we're doing. Uh, so basically what I did was I put an arc there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some geometry text. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the the line, and then I'm going to add uh, add some text in. I'm just going to put my uh, ooh, what should I put? Let's say I'm going to put San Diego, because that's our town. Um, okay, so there we have it. Um, we're going to click OK just to see how large it is. Okay, so we have a we have a size problem with our text there. It's tiny. I scroll in, you can see it just occupies a tiny portion of that line, so I'm going to double click on it. Um, and this, this is a little bit difficult for me to tell you the truth. Uh, it's, it's difficult to tell the size of the text. Um, occasionally what I'll get is I'll get, um, so let's say we up that all the way to one inch. Click OK. Oops. And I forgot to highlight the text. I have to be honest, this text tool is um, is for me is is the most one of the most convoluted parts of um, Inventor. So we're going to double click here. Obviously, one inch was a little bit too much. We're going to take it down a tenth. So we're going to go 0 0.9 inches just to kind of get everything onto that um, a line and kind of contained in the object. Okay, so we got our size well in hand there. Um, our stretch. We're going to say 90 degree stretch. And we're going to do an offset of point, uh, 0.3 inches. Oops, that was not correct. An offset of 0 inches. And the start angle is what I wanted. And we're going to start at an angle of 5 degrees. OK, and there we have it. So I've adjusted my text around, so we kind of have the text um, uh, sitting in front of the 
on the work plane, kind of in front of our object. All right, so now we're going to right click OK, right click Finish 2D Sketch, and now we're going to go ahead and emboss. We're going to click on Wrap to Face. Okay, so we're going to choose our face. Oops, actually, we're going to choose our profile first. And we're going to choose our face. Okay, and these are the types of emboss. Okay, so we can do uh, emboss from phrase, engrave, engrave from phrase, which means that the, the writing will go back in. Uh, we can do our depth. Okay, so let's see, we want to come out to 0.5. We're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, and there we have it. We have a, uh, it is wrapped to our face there. Uh, notice that as I spin around, you can see that it's kind of coming out uh, right at the same angle as the original face. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to uh, make our work plane invisible. So unclick visible. We can also go ahead and, um, and make this a different color. Now there are all kinds of different ways to, um, there are all kinds of different things that we can do here. Okay, so we can make this gold. All kinds of stuff you can do with this. This is just a really quick example of embossing. Uh, let's say that we wanted to cut this into the actual object. We can double click. We can do um, engrave instead. Click OK. Notice it has to work for a second here. Okay, and in that case, notice that it's been engraved into the material. So if I spin it around, you can see it doesn't come outside of the face. Okay, uh, so that is, uh, that is the emboss tool. So let's go ahead. I'm going to save this off as... Notice how I can just click. If I have a good naming convention, I can just click on it and then specify which one of the files it is. Naming conventions are a really important thing. I know I say it every time, but... Believe me, it'll save you a lot of trouble. Okay, so uh, Lesson 9 Emboss. We're going to save it off and close it. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a part file. Okay, now now we're going to go ahead. We've covered a lot of a lot of these, um, a lot of the tools, the main tools for 3D uh, modeling. We're going to go ahead and cover just a couple of more. Okay, we're going to cover the fillet, chamfer, and shell. Uh, we're going to leave off draft, and we're going to leave off derive for now. Okay. <coughs> okay, so let's start. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create our 2D sketch. Start with our rectangle. Uh, easy enough, right? Um, and we're going to actually put a circle inside of it just to kind of make it interesting here. Uh, let's go ahead and dimension this off. Click, pull, click. And we're going to make it 4 by... Whoops. That was not correct. Oh, that's, yes it was. Okay, 4 by 4. Let's make it 4 by 6 so that we can... Okay, and then we're going to make our circle uh, 2 inches. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and dimension from our line to our circle. We're going to make that 2 inches. Actually, we're going to make this one 3 inches. And from our circle to our top... Oops. Side. We're actually going to make that two inches. Okay, so we have a dimension here. We're going to right click, finish 2D sketch, zoom all. Okay, notice if I go to my front. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to extrude this. And remember, we're just doing kind of a simple example here. Uh, chamfer, fillet, fillet, chamfer, shell, and draft really do uh, uh, become a bit difficult. Okay. Um, okay. So here we have it. We have our. Whoops. I want to make my extrusion a bit bigger. Um, we're going to make it six inches. Actually, let's make it ten inches. Okay. So we have our our basic shape here. 
All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a shell um, on this material. So a shell, basically, you choose the face that you want to keep. I'm sorry, the face that, that you want to remove. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and click on here. And notice what shell just did. Okay, so shell, essentially what it does is it creates it leaves the, the face on the end intact. So if I spin it around, notice what just happened. I essentially created a cup with a hole in the middle of it, right? Okay, so if you can see that, um, okay, so that is our uh, shell there. Um, And let's make it a different color so you can see a little bit better. Okay, that might be a little bit better there. Okay, so uh, that's the shell tool. Okay, so now let's take a look um, look at uh, chamfer. Okay, so chamfer is a case where if you were really making this uh, out of metal, the metal sides and edges would be so sharp as to be able to cut you. Okay, so um, or to be dangerous, dangerous for people. All right, so uh, so fillet and chamfer is a very common thing to do when you're working with something. So basically, what what um, what inventor does is it gives you the opportunity to um, to chamfer in your drawings or to fillet in your drawings. So so let's take a look exactly what chamfer is. So chamfer is the distance. Um, when I start to look at chamfer, let's let's open up this uh, the dialog here. So the distance is is the um, the width of the flat part, the chamfer, right? The width of the flat portion uh, that's going to take the place of the edge. Okay. So when we do this, we're going to select an edge, and chamfer is going to flatten out that edge for us. Okay. So let's take a look. Okay, so we can choose as many as we like. Um, we can also make these larger or smaller. So notice if I make them 0.5, notice that the, the size gets bigger. Okay, so notice the flat portion gets a little bit larger there. Spin that around a little bit. It's a little bit hard to see. Okay, so let's say that is what we want. So let's go ahead and click Apply. Okay, so there we have our chamfered. Ooh, and notice what happened here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, inventor's given us some artifacts. We call those uh, as we as we're spinning the thing around. Notice that it doesn't look exactly right on the chamfer, um, which is interesting. Okay, um, so the chamfer is uh, is finished there. Okay, so that's a that's kind of make where you make your your edges kind of um, not rounded off but kind of diagonaled off there. Okay, so let's go ahead and try fillet or fillet. Okay, fillet gets a little bit more difficult. Um, now, what the thing is with the fillet is that you're going to get a lot of errors uh, when you try to fillet edges, and what that stems from is that the radius of the fillet is too large. Okay, so if you start to get errors as you're filleting, the the quickest fix to that is to reduce the radius of the fillet. All right, um, and that can happen for a number of reasons. It seems to be a bit um, it's a bit hard to predict when you will get errors with the fillet tool. Okay, so my suggestion is that as you go, so let's say we want to round off these edges. Okay, and we can make the the fillet just a bit larger. Okay, now notice I got a lot of red arrows here, so let's see what happens when I click OK. And inventor's kind of chugging away. And notice that it gave me a um, gave me quite a gave me an error. The attempt fillet operation is too complicated to trim and join to the part, try adding more edges or by specifying a smaller radius. Okay, so that is exactly what we'll do. So basically, 
Inventor will give you a lot of errors like that. Um, so let's go into the Flet tool again. We're going to go back down to 0.250. Okay. And we're going to go in and just go ahead and select the sides. Now I'm getting some odd um, some odd selections there. Okay, we're going to click the check. And notice that time it didn't have any problem. All right? Okay. Uh, so that is the fillet. Uh, chamfer and shell tools um, they can make uh, they can make a big difference um, I'd like to just cover one last thing on the shell um, so let's go back to our shell if we open that back up um, you can also specify how the um, the width of the shell so if I click there notice that that made the material that's that the shell is made up of a bit thicker um, Let's also go, we can also remove a face. Okay, so if I remove the top face, I can also go back to the other side and remove the other face as well. Now, it doesn't make any sense on this particular shape, and the inventor may tell me so. What inventor is doing is chugging away because I had applied chamfers to the shell portion. So it's now trying to, um, trying to rectify the situation. <coughs> so it's likely it will give me an error here. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and click accept. Um, if we went ahead and, and took off the chamfers, the original chamfers, actually notice that that's exactly what happened. So what um, what Inventor did in that case is it basically removed the chamfer. You'll notice this, and you'll see if you see this in your drawings. Do you see this little uh, caution sign right here? This little um, uh, uh, yellow triangle with an exclamation point inside of it. Basically, that's saying that 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 feature, that 3D feature, did not work and has been removed from the drawing. Um, so what we could do is we could go ahead and Control Z, and basically that will get us back to our original thing. Okay, uh, so those are the uh, shell, chamfer, and uh, fillet fillet tools. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. Uh, so we're going to call this lesson nine. And we're going to call this shell chamfer Okay, it's all saved off. Uh, go ahead and try those three tools and good luck.